side, there don't seem to be too many elephants around here. Actually, there's no elephants at Twin Dams. And I wonder what this youngster is. It looks like a, like a young uh, green-backed heron. <laughs> Interesting. It was actually spotted, camouflaging very well in there, by Craig. So let's just check the book and make sure that this is what I think it is. Although I am about 90% sure that this is what it is. Interesting. And just waiting down there and <laughs> making its kill. So somebody's out for breakfast, which is very reassuring, knowing that they're all starting to wake up. Moving around. And then, of course, that noise in the background are very loyal Egyptian geese. Yeah, it does seem to be a green-backed heron. A young green-backed heron. Still... <gasps> well done! Somebody's catching breakfast. And you see it's very long toes. So the more surface, the less this animal is going to sink. And it allows him to walk just along these patches of grass that are in what... Well, what is almost a, <laughs> a mud wallow. But you are a very beautiful bird. And I don't know if you remember, we normally see one on Chitwa. And now we have found one on Twin Dams, which is quite exciting. There we go. Very exciting. Did you spot something? Look at the patience and how they've got to move. What? Colleen, you say that that is so cute. <laughs> it is. And it is quite a funny little thing is it not just moving around here and it's amazing to to think that if i try to look at it with my bare eyes i don't re even really know where it is <laughs> like i know where to look for it but it blends so well with the background that it's just pretty incredible now a very typical heron what it's doing it's just standing there perfectly still not moving waiting for that perfect opportunity to strike Okay, well, you just ruined it. Kristen, you're wondering if it's tiny because it looks so small. Well, it is a lot smaller than all of the other herons that we get in this area. And as an adult, it uh, it's about 40 centimeters... No, that's too much. About 30 centimeters tall. So it is one of the smallest herons that we get in this area. Hmm. Exciting news, this one. Approaching the water and then ready to strike very quickly and grab its prey. Now, I don't think there are any fish in there. I think it's just going after perhaps some larvae or uh, little insects that might live there, like we can see now. Yeah. Well, I think it's been quite successful. I think we've seen it catch its breakfast a few times now. Alicia from Chicago, you're saying that it moves so grace gracefully. It does, doesn't it? It's almost like a dance along the shores of the <laughs> of the mud wallow. There we go again. Being very careful. Alison, you say this is a new bird for you. Well, yay! Exciting times. One more bird that we can tick off our list, which is quite exciting. It's always good to start ticking birds off the list. Daniel, you're saying that it looks like a plover. <laughs> well, almost. It might almost look like a plover. Um, but they are a lot bigger than one of the plovers. But they do share the habitat with them. So I think it's funny because we've got the heron on the one side and Okay, well, we should have had a plover on the other side, but I can't really see any of them. Now, we've 